Artificial love, we just make it up Cause reality will never be good enough And even if it was, we just mess it up Yeah, Mr. John Jungkook, wake up! You are already late for your work. Get up! You said shaking Jungkook and then started to fold the blanket as you were also running late for your work. But let out a deep sigh when he just changed his position and sleep again. Mr. You had meeting today. Get up or else going to put all blame on me. He didn't answer and you sighed. and walk near him you put your hand on his shoulder and was about to shake but he grab your wrist and pull you on top of him your eyes widen as he pulls you more closer to him taking your breath away why you always said me to wake up early you smile at his cute pout his eyes were still closed and he was looking little disturbed yet so relaxed after squeezing you in his arms you smile and fix his hair from his eyes which were troubling him a smile appeared on his face you have office to go my love i do always you chuckle it's so hard to understand him sometimes he behaves so indifferent to his nature sometimes all cute and romantic and sometimes all cold and irritated but never fails to make your heart flutter by his smile and love it's been a year and you are still not used to his closeness Still, your heart beats and body get numb by his closeness. Aish, it's a work and you have to do it properly. Don't be lazy and get up. I'm also running late for my work, so it's better for you if we won't waste now. You say trying to get up but couldn't because of his grip around your waist. Jungkook, you say whispering but more like yelling at him. You think I care? No, let's spend some time together. It's so rare that we spend the quality time like this. Why really take over us? You smile as he was looking so cute while complaining like a child. First, open your eyes, Mister, and look at the watch. You are already late. He signed and opened his eyes only to see your smiling face. When you finally open your eyes and got up, you are boss. How can you be so careless? What your employees going to think and learn when you yourself not time punctual? He signed flipping the side. Now you are under him and he is on top of you. Your cheeks turn all red looking in his dark black eyes while he just remark. Why you care of others more than us? I am boss. And I can go whenever I want. I know you are boss, but I am not. I need to be there at time. When boss is there on the bed, then what do you think? Where should his personal assistant be? He said, raising raising his brows while your cheeks turned all red. You quickly looked away, making him smile. Cute. I still wonder how you are still not used to my touch. I don't know. Now get up, your breath smell. You said, pushing him with your small hands, but he just grabbed your hand and pinned it above your head. You were still not looking in his eyes as your heart started to beat so fast. Is my wife is blushing? I am so damn cute. What should I do now? He said, rubbing his nose to yours, making you giggle. Do nothing and let's go. We had meeting to attend, and this time I'm serious, Shankar. Okay, a kiss will work to wake me up. He said, smiling at you, but you just chuckled and pushed him with your all strength, running a little far from him. He winced, missing your presence. Why yell? You threw a pillow towards him while giggling. He catched the pillow and looked at you with a pout, all looking like a small child. Let's cuddle for five more minutes. For that, you have to come back home early, and also don't make your PA work for long. Then we could cuddle at night because it's not the right time. You sat and walked downstairs, smiling while he smiled and lay comfortably on the bed, shouting at you in a loud voice to make you heard it clearly. But at night, I want something more than cuddle. Be ready, baby girl. You smile and continue walk downstairs. Jungkook smiled and walked inside the bathroom. 
Who the hell you asked before cancelling the deal? You flinched slightly when Jungkook shouted on you suddenly. You tried to explain him but he didn't give you time as his anger took over him. You even know what you did, just vanished the hard work of the year into nothing. You just ruined everything by it. His eyes get red due to anger while you try to calm him. Jungkook listened to me. He was not a good man at all. I don't like his attitude and the way he was talking. He was totally a jerk and I can't make deal with this type of people. It was business fire. Here you have to think of the company profit, not the character of any other person. You just not wasted our effort but also wasted the money and now we end up having nothing. And that because of you. I hate your this attitude. Your heart stopped as you looked at him with your teary eyes. It's not the first time you always do what you want without thinking about anyone or anything. I'm really sick of your this attitude. You are so careless. You scoff. Seriously, you really think you are getting trouble because of me? He bit his lower lip for some second and then spoke. Most of the time. If I trouble you this much then why don't you just give me divorce and find yourself someone who will listen to you? Why yen? He said raising his hand to you but stop in the middle not touching your body. Your eyes got more teary as you looked at him with your blurry vision. If you want to hit me then why you stop? Just go ahead. Your voice cracked as it's the action from him, the person you love the most, the person you thought will never hurt you. He lowered his hand and looked at me. He closed his eyes to calm his anger. Why? He tried to talk to you, but he opened the door and walked out, slamming the door behind. He bit his lower lip and pushed his hair back. The street was all silent and dark. Only he was the one who was running from here to there. It's already so late, and you didn't even come back home. First he thought you might be in the office doing overtime as you usually do but then when he tried to call you your phone rang in the home which means you do come home but was not there the rain start making him more worried he was getting more and more worried as time was passing but there was no sign of you the street were all empty ya john vayan where are you He was walking without caring about anything but suddenly something dig in his shoes making him look down at the thing he saw a piece of jewelry and it didn't take him to recognize that it's yours as he was the one who gifted you this bracelet he looked around as he got to know that he was on the right track but where you are angry way more than he thought at this time it's so difficult to make it up with you He was pretty sure you didn't lose it but throw it really as your anger issue is not any less than him. Let's solve it by talk wagon. You are making me sick for you. The rain was dropping so heavily. He didn't care about himself but of you. Every second his heart was racing the highest emotion of his. He tightly grabbed the bracelet in his fist and ran around to find you again in hope you will show up soon. On the other hand, you were mad at him still. If you get sick it's his fault only. Chunko take a deep breath in relief when he find you and mainly safe. He looked at the sky which was draining the water with its full heart showing both of your emotions. Sitting on the chair alone wiping your tears to control them but the emotions were coming out from your heart thinking of what he said. Chunko Kai softened regretting his every word he said to you in anger when he never meant any of them. He walked slowly towards you. Why in? He called your name softly. You looked at him and his heart ached seeing your red puffy eyes. He never thought that his word will hurt you this much. You quickly wiped your tears and looked down. He sits beside you. What are you doing here? I was finding you for so long. Just come to take some fresh air. In the rain, you even know how worried I was for you. Maybe he sighed and looked at you while your eyes were still looking down, playing with your fingers, keeping everything in your heart. Let's go, or else you will catch a cold. What if you catch a cold? Then are not you worried for yourself? 
I will be fine in few hours, but you are going to trouble me for a week at least. He said in a joking way without knowing that you take it in different way. I know, I always give you a hard time. I am not good enough to dare. I dare you to complete your words. If I scold you, that doesn't mean I don't love you or care about you. I was just angry. But mom said people always say truth when they get angry. And you were right, I always create problem for you. I always end up messing the things, just care about myself. Well, that was right, you always care about yourself. Just come to take fresh air in just a worse weather. You like rain, but I don't. And now, because of you, I'm going to catch cold. You are really a troublemaker. You looked at him while he looked at you pressing his lips together. Now, only a kiss can pay for all the problems you created for me. You looked at him for a second and then a soft smile left on your lips. You looked down, hiding it from him while he chuckled. Poor what? Only for you, my baby girl. It was raining, but your red cheeks don't remain unnoticed by him as he chuckled, pinching your cheeks. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I should have listened to your point of view too. Before jumping on any decision, please forgive me. He said hugging you knowing that you never remain angry on him for so long. I am sorry too. I should have not take all the decision by myself. I should at least ask you once or should talk to you first. He smiled and nodded. He broke the hug and take out something from his pocket. He grabbed your hand gently and again put the bracelet. Never ever take it off again, okay? It's so precious. You looked at the bracelet and then at him with your white smiling face. Where you find it? You know I was crying for it as it's so precious for me and I dropped it somewhere. I really miss the bracelet in these few hours. Cute, he said chuckling at your cuteness. You were making breakfast suddenly feel two arms swapping around your waist. You smiled as Jungkook shrugged his face more in your neck. You wake up early today. He hummed in a sleepy voice while you smiled. Today is weekend and you wake up already and at the time of working days you sleep like a man who didn't even sleep for ages. You are still angry on me. I'm sorry why I Aish, no matter how much you hit gym or make this bulky body, you are going to be a baby jungle by your talks and actions. Why would I be angry on you when we already shot our things earlier? He nodded and stayed silent for some time. You know, I don't like to wake up alone. Then why you always wake up first? It's because I had some work other than office work too. So my hobby, it's been possible for me to sleep with you till late. It's already 11 I guess. Then let's have a child who is going to accompany me, okay? You turn your face to him and raise your brows while he peeked your lips. You chuckle. Okay, so now Mr. John wants a child. Yes, it's already a year since we got married and now even mom started to ask when we are going to plan our family. Isn't it the right time? You nodded and turn off the stove. You turn to him while he smiled. Wait here, I will be back in few minutes, okay? You picked his cheeks and left from there. Jungkook sat on the counter waiting for you. You walked back in the kitchen with a red ribbon box in your hand. He put his phone aside as soon as he noticed you. You smile at him and extend the box. What's that? A gift for me? Well, I think a lot yesterday and come to know that it was my mistake too. And if you are sorry for your mistake, then I have to be sorry too, right? So I bring this small gift as a sorry. Why you always buy me gift when you are sorry? A kiss will work for me. He said leaning to kiss you but you slap his arm making him part. Perfect. Now open it. It's my style to say sorry. He looked at the box and then started to open it. He opened it fully and his eyes widened. He looked at you only to see you smiling at him. Why him? A gift you get right after you wished for it. A gift for us. 
User smiling while his eyes started to get teary, making your brows frown in confusion. You are not pranking me. You are pregnant for real. Aish, it's hurt. Why would I lie about such a serious thing? I'm too weak. And you know, you stop when he suddenly pulls you in a tight hug and started to sob lightly on your shoulder. You tried to broke the hug, but he couldn't. Hey, are you okay? What happened? Are not you happy? He shook his head. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. You chuckled at his cuteness. Then what with these tears? I thought you were going to jump in happiness, but it turned out to be all opposite. You are crying in happiness. I never knew the cool CEO Mr. John Junko can be this soft-hearted from inside. You are really tricky bomb. Not me but you. You were on your pills. You said you are not ready for it. You stopped him picking his lips. I just said, but I didn't mean it. Did I? He laughed, making you laugh too. Okay now, enough of laughing. Stop it or baby's stomach going to hurt because of you. Stop it. He said making you laugh even more while he sighed. You are really so weird. It's just too weak. He picked you up and walked upstairs. I don't care if it's two days or week or month. Now you have to take care of yourself. Remember, you are not only eat properly and healthy. Your junk is not included. Don't stress about anything, not about work too. Just guide me from home and also don't laugh much, okay? You smile, shaking your head. It's going to be hard, isn't it? Yes, it's definitely going to be so hard. You smile while he just looked at you with his side eyes and smiles.